Hey. Don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. If you work on DC time and you are commuting to the office in Dallas, Texas, then you understand why I'm up 3.39 in the morning. But anyway, welcome to the dude's journey back to the Crescent City Classic 2023. It's been almost, yeah, it's been 10 years since I have festively ran this race, this marathon, or whatever you would like to call it. But first, big shouts out to my big brother, Mr. G. I be chilling, Howard. Thank you for introducing me to this. <laughs> Ooh, that was a fun. That was the first experience was was fun because that was that was my first time running a marathon. You know, I never thought in my life that I would be doing something like that, especially where I come from, where I was raised, actually. But you may be asking yourself. What is the Crescent City Classic? Okay, to be brief, to me, it is a festive 10K marathon in New Orleans, Louisiana. On the Saturday before Easter, um, two things I say. Festive because it is in New Orleans, New Orleans, the NOLA. So it's not going to be your typical marathon. <laughs> I'm talking about beer stops, jello shots, in costumes <laughs> like a carnival or something and yeah there will be gatorade and water provided as well yeah oh uh, and um also i'm not racing because you know salute to the kenyans and everybody else that take it serious you know they they trying to break records i'm just trying to enjoy myself because you know running can be like therapy sometimes you know for for an individual like me for an individual, you know. Also, I, I say marathon, not race, because although I do like to run and enjoy putting some miles in, I have not ran. I have not ran to break a record, uh, you know, to um, to try to improve my time. You know, in this case, I'm just enjoying I'm just enjoying the sights, enjoying seeing other people have fun. So that's why I say run it festively. Hashtag festive run. And this year as I return back, I plan to run it festively in my Dr. Facilier costume. Now, let me get some obstacles out of the way. One, I just received my Girl Scout cookies. So, if y'all, if you are, if you know Girl Scout cookies, I mean, my favorites are the Thin Mints. And they used to call them Tagalongs, now they call them uh, Peanut Butter Patties or something like that. So, it's, uh, it's, I got some work to do. Some, some detoxing, some dieting, and definitely some exercising to do. If I want to look, if I want to look how I want to look in that costume. Now, today I'm running down downtown Dallas. Um, actually, this is where I will be residing for probably the rest of my life. And running through downtown Dallas, you know, it's, it's, I like it. I, I'm enjoying, I really can say I am enjoying the buildings. Looking at the buildings from the outside and the inside. It gives kind of some. It gives me some kind of um. How can I say? Motivation. Hope. Because there's a lot of business that's being taken care of in these buildings. And as you can see, not one of them are vacant, look vacant, or deserted. <laughs> you know, I'm sure some people are looking at me crazy as they drive by. Like, why is this dude running and recording at the same time? Well, think about it for a second. You never, nobody ever think that the word YouTube or Google will be a noun. 
a verb. Nobody would ever thought that. So, as always, you have to do your thing. All right, I'm finishing it up here. Everyone, please remember to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. And uh, we're going to see you again tomorrow. All right. Stay hydrated. Ha, 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 ha.